Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on General Writing Task 1. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect Task 1 letter with this easy to learn letter writing structure. Ideally, your letter should consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign off at the end. Start with the greeting, which will be dear whoever you're writing to. Then in paragraph one, state the purpose of the letter, that is your reason for writing. In paragraph two, write about the first bullet point. In paragraph three, write about the second bullet point. And in paragraph four, write about the third bullet point. Then finally, sign off your letter. We'll start by looking at a sample question as I want you to see how this letter structure mirrors the format of the questions. The structure of every question is the same. It contains three parts. Part one is the topic, part two, the person you must write to, and part three, what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. Below the question structure is our sample question. I've used the same colour coding to highlight the three different parts. So, the topic is the two-day course you've recently taken, for which you must give feedback, and the person you must write to is the course organiser. The things you should write about are details of the course, what you liked or disliked about it, and some suggestions for improvements to the course. Now we'll return to the letter structure and fill in the detail from the question to create a plan for our letter. Pause the video for a moment and study this structure with all the details added. It's time to start writing our letter. I'm going to focus on paragraphs 2, 3 and 4 as these will form the main body of the letter. But first we'll quickly write the greeting and the purpose paragraph to give the context for our letter. You'll find help on how to think up ideas for all parts of the letter in the lesson on planning and in the lessons on the seven different question topics. You'll find links to them in the notes below this video. The aim of this lesson is to get you familiar with the letter structure. We must start our letter with a greeting. We're not writing to a friend, so the tone of the letter will be formal. We don't know the course organiser, so we will use sir or madam as the greeting. In the first paragraph, state the purpose of the letter. In this question, it's to give the course organiser feedback on the course. State the reason that you're writing in one sentence. Use synonyms of keywords used in the question where possible. Here's an example of what you could write. I am writing to give you an evaluation of the TEFL course I took at Exeter College last weekend. Now for the three main paragraphs. Use the letter structure and use these guidelines. Each paragraph should be about 50 words in length. It must fully develop the topic of the bullet point. Write about the bullet points in the order they appear in the question. And use keywords from the bullet point or use synonyms that make it clear which bullet point you're writing about. Finally, leave a line between each paragraph to create a clear separation between them. And here are some ideas of what you could write for the three main paragraphs. The first bullet point is, give details of the course. So, for paragraph two, you could write something like this. Although there were 10 hours of classes each day, I did not find the days as exhausting as I had feared because there was a good mix of theory and practical sessions. The different styles of teaching from the various tutors also helped to keep everyone engaged and motivated. The second bullet point is, say what you liked or disliked about the course. So for paragraph three, you could write something like this. I particularly enjoyed the group work as I learnt a lot from the other students and had fun doing the activities with them. Changing the groups around each time so that we worked with different people was a great idea. There were also excellent handouts from all the sessions. 
The third bullet point is suggest some improvements to the course. So for paragraph four, you could write something like this. My only criticism of the course is the lack of time given for the individual teaching practices we had to do each day. I do understand that with 20 people on the course, they did take up a lot of time. But two minutes per presentation was not long enough to practice all we had learnt. Addressing this issue would make an excellent course even better. Now we just have to sign off and our letter is complete. For a formal letter, there are two options. The correct one will depend on who you are addressing. If you're writing to someone you don't know the name of, use the greeting, Dear Sir or Madam, and sign off the letter, Yours Faithfully. If you do know the name of the person, and have used a greeting such as, Dear Mr Jones, sign off the letter with Yours Sincerely. Our letter is to a person we don't know the name of, so we must use yours faithfully. For a formal letter, sign off with both your first name and your surname. Here are the six parts of our letter brought together. Pause the video and read through it. Note the different elements that I've talked about in this lesson. Now use this letter writing structure as you practice for your exam. Thank you for watching and I look forward to teaching you more of the skills you need to write a high scoring letter in my other videos on General Writing Task 1. Goodbye for now.